going to be throwing all these quests individually up on the YouTube channel for, for new players. As we get into the old, uh, older, higher level quests, if there's a quest you're looking for specifically, if there's a quest you struggle with, just want to see how somebody else does it, um, feel free to comment on YouTube or on our Twitch stream asking for it. We'll try to get requests in. At the appropriate level. I mean, we can always come in at level 30 and do whatever quests, but it's always more, you know, that's a neat way to see how a quest is done, but I like to see people do quests at around the level I'm going to run it, because you know, how do you deal with this guy that hits really hard? I mean, or cast a spell you don't have an automatic immunity for at level 30. You know, how do you deal with that at your low level? It's something that I find neat, but... Uh, We'll see as we go through. Taking out the shamans first again, because they have a hold person, which is dangerous. They have lightning bolt, which hits like a truck if you fail, you're safe. Because I'm level 2 paladin, at least, I have great saves now. Uh, so less of a concern, but, you know, you still roll a 1. You want to take out the highest, in my opinion, the highest danger, especially when you're solo. If I get held with all these trash mobs around me, I can go down really fast. Once I kill the guy that can hold me, I have almost no fear. You can see they're hitting me for very little damage. I'm going to search real quick for a... Uh, I guess I've... Oh, I have the true seeing on, so it already searched. Okay. It's easy to get bonus for doors here. Um, you should get the full bonus. Uh, you'll see me move around a lot when I'm attacking the casters. That's trying to just kind of trying to juke if they can try to go for the uh, lightning bolt cast. Lightning bolt is a straight line spell. It's a bolt spell. Uh, you can dodge it. Um, so I just try to you know move back and forth. Is that the best way to do it? I, I see how he just cast that, but he cast it off to where I was, not where I ended up being. Just getting missed. Oh, there's. A Reaper there, okay, and a shaman. I'm gonna go for the shaman first so I don't get held. And up oh, the Reaper I killed along the way. Thank you, glancing blows, which are going away in update 45. A little bit of lag here, okay. Ah, uh, there is a shrine back here. You know, I'm just gonna drink a pot. I have tons of these pots from dice rolls. These are what I these are what I I call these the lobby pots. Uh, a lot of people would they, their initial heal is 80, and then it's some more hit points over the next few minutes. Um, you can see in Reaper one with my current heal amp, I'm making about 40, so about half. It's a decent like way to top yourself off. I don't burn through them. I try to save them. Shoot, shaman action, and then spamming. It's a good thing I drank that pot. So you can see how many incorporal marks I had there. If I had gone and getting, if I had gone to the Borderlands like Painkilling and suggested and gotten a Ghost Touch, I would not have had all those incorporal dice rolls there. Um, I, got, I got lucky. I'll get away with some stuff as a Uber completionist that maybe you don't want to risk. If you're on hardcore server trying that, you do not. Here's a play. Okay, let's. Ooh, I'm plagued and I'm stuck. Okay, we're in danger. I'm in danger. Plague's off. Throw a lay on hands. Let's go kill this guy. Oh, and there's. Keeping it a little interesting. Okay, let's get that going. Okay, Plague's dead. Shaman's dead. Kill the carnage. Woo! Ed, uh, edge of my seat action there. And there we go. We live through it. We'll drink this and kind of top ourselves off. There is a trap box over here. I don't think you get trap bonus in this quest. I don't recall. We'll have to do these quest runs with some trap guys later. I'm 
the purse. Trashy kobolds, beautiful. Uh, silly 80 mod. We don't need that chest. If you open that chest, eh, we'll just do it to show people. If you open this chest, it starts a trap. It's going to close the doors, lock us in here with some kobolds. There's some kobold shamans ahead. I'm just kind of cleaning up what's here. And then I'll move over here, clean up the shaman. Shaman right here. Should be another shaman. Oh, yep, there he is. All right, so we cleaned up all the casters. Now we're just cleaning up the other trash. Easy. So we've hit our objective. Cleared the 80 monsters. Basically, we just have to run to the end. We got full search bonus. There's some oozes that are going to spawn over there. I'm going to ignore them because I'm going to kill these guys fast and run past them. Oh, maybe I'm not. Come on. No! Alright, I guess I have to kill the oozes. You don't have to. I could ignore them. They're here now, so I'm going to kill them. You see, my Dwarven Axe is now worn because I'm playing with oozes. What's going on down here with this caster? Oh no! I've actually destroyed my mace. I mean, I'm sorry, my axe. Switch over to this mace. Uh, I can kill these guys with that mace, it's fine. So a lot happened in this dungeon. Broke a weapon. Um, didn't need to. That was needless. I could have swapped, but didn't. Whatever. Got real close with that plague and that carnage spawn with a couple of shaman, but uh, pulled it off. No optional XP. Alright, we're going to go repair and run the